After months of tense negotiations between Democrats and Republicans, U.S. President Joe Biden on Saturday signed the debt ceiling bill, suspending the U.S. government's $31.4 trillion debt ceiling and averting what within days would have been a first-ever government default. A video of Biden signing the bill appeared on the president's Twitter account, and the White House in a statement thanked top Senate and House leaders from both parties. The bill signing came a day after Biden hailed it as a bipartisan triumph in his first ever Oval Office address to the nation as president. There were extreme voices threatening to take America for the first time in our 247 year history into default on our national debt. Nothing, nothing would have been more irresponsible. No one got everything they wanted, but the American people got what they needed. Both parties cobbled together an 11th hour deal that suspends the debt limit until January 2025 and caps spending, and it passed through the Senate and the House this week. In the end, Republicans won about $1.5 trillion in spending reductions over 10 years, which may or may not be fully realized. Their opening bid was for $4.8 trillion in savings over a decade. Both parties walled off the sprawling Social Security and Medicare retirement and health care programs from cuts. Despite the Treasury meeting its debt obligations, the possibility of another U.S. credit rating downgrade is still on the table. Fitch Ratings on Friday said the United States AAA rating remains on negative watch. It cited repeated political standoffs and last-minute suspensions for, quote, lowering confidence in governance on fiscal and debt matters.